Welcome back. Today we are diving into Raft, a user-friendly consensus algorithm designed to manage log replication across a cluster of servers. Raft designates one node as leader, making it simpler to understand and implement than some older algorithms like Paxos. So let's try to see how. First, why Raft, like why Raft is important and why to use Raft. In distributed system, we need all the servers to agree on the same sequence of events, like database writes or configuration changes, for example. Even if some servers fail, Raft's goal is to keep this log of events consistent across all servers in that cluster. By using a single leader, to coordinate, Raft to provide a straightforward approach to achieving a consensus. Let's see an example of Raft. We have three things here. We have leader, we have follower, we have candidate. The leader was the server in charge of processing the uh, processing client requests and replicating new entries to the rest of the clusters. The follower, which are the servers that simply copy the leader's log, in, uh, the log uh, keepers, um, the leader's log entries, and apply them to their local state machine. Lastly, we have the candidates. When a follower doesn't hear from a leader for a while, it becomes a candidate and tries to get elected as the new leader. At any time. Each server is one of three, leader, follower, or candidate. The leader receives requests and the followers um, replicate those requests to maintain a consistent state. Okay, let's try to understand how it works to see the, um, uh, an example. So let's just, we, we might add more followers, but to keep the graph simple, we add one follower. First, we start with leader election, like when the cluster uh, starts, um, followers will be uh, followers become candidates and ask others to vote for them. Whichever candidates win a majority of votes will become the leader. Okay, and right now we have our own leader. So the leader takes the client requests and appends them to its own log. It then replicates these new log entries to the followers. Okay, as you can see. It will replicate them, okay? Um, once the majority of followers acknowledge recipient uh, of the entries, the leader marks them as committed. Because entries are only considered committed if a majority of servers have them, each server eventually sees the same log if the leader remains stable. If the leader crashes, or the network breaks, Raft will elect a new leader, ensuring the system continues to operate. Okay, let's try to talk about the pros and cons of Raft. First thing, simplicity. It's designed from the ground up to become understandable than other consensus algorithms. Number two, clarity in roles. Having one leader handle rights make it easier to see where decisions are made. Number three, strong consistency. Once a majority acknowledges a log entry, it's effectively committed and can't be overwritten under normal conditions. This simplicity is why many modern distributed systems like ATCD and console use Raft under the hood. But there are some drawback or some cones or some potential drawbacks. Number one, we have leader bottleneck. Because all rights go through the leader, it can become a performance bottleneck if the cluster is under heavy write load. Number two, we have network dependency. If network partitions occur, you need enough nodes to still, um, yeah, to still from a majority, or no leader can be elected at all. Number three, implementation complexity. While simpler than Paxos, it is, a com it, it is still a complex distributed protocol that requires careful coding and testing. 
even though it's simpler than Paxos, Rust still demands a careful approach to handle edge cases like server restarts, network splits, or partial failures. Okay, let's wrap everything up now. That's Raft in a nutshell. One leader manages the log and replicates ac across the followers, ensuring all nodes stay in sync. It's a cornerstone of reliable distributed systems, offering a simpler consensus approach than older algorithms. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section below if you have ever worked with Raft. Until next time, keep your system in sync.